Ah, uh, sa 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 sa. Okay, so here we are. We are attempting. Oh, focus is amazing. All right, we are attempting <laughs> to get a servo to work with the Due 8.5 electronics. Now I'm using this one as my test bed in case I break it. The Duet Wi-Fi will not be destroyed. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I got the oscilloscope set up so I can see the pulse. And you can see here what it looks like at the moment. Uh, there we go. Okay, uh, actually I kind of want to see the... Pulse width. Okay, anyway. Uh, so what do I have? I have here a little IC. I doubt you're going to be able to read it, but I'll tell you what it is. It's a HD74HC02P. Um, and what I'm doing is I need a way to take the 3.3 volt signal and turn it into a 5 volt signal. So this is nothing more than a voltage converter. You can use a transistor and do the same thing, but I want multiple channels, and this is one I see less components, to be honest. So when I'm done, I'll actually have a small breakout board, but currently. So here's the servo. This is one of those uh, little micro 9 gram servos. So the way that this works currently is if I type in um, an so M, M280 is for riprap firmware, um, and then the P5 is actually the heater that I'm using, the ch heater channel. Otherwise, that's actually a pin number. In my case, it's directed to the 5, which is a heater channel. And then the S is the, the position. So I think 180, no, I think, I think 280, or was it 180? I don't remember now the maximum I just checked it but anyway so I'm gonna hit enter this is just the uh, the console so if I hit enter you can see the pulse change and the uh, sensor change so let me see if I can get this silly old thing focused there we go so here we go I'm gonna send it now alright so, so you can see the the pulse width changed and of course our servo moved so I can change it uh, anywhere in between. So here's a hundred. Oh no, that's ten. I'm sorry. There's a hundred. There's a hundred and twenty. And uh, we'll do fifty. So and I can set that anywhere in between. Now this is how I'm going to be controlling the actual controller for the uh, spindle same exact functionality here um, I'm gonna be using servos for other things but uh, yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update it's what it looks like it's currently 1155 and I'm going to bed now I successfully done what I wanted to do so servo control we did it so yeah uh, it definitely took me some some figuring out, but we got it all figured out. So, there you go. It does work, and I'm looking forward to the future. Just a short update. I figured I'd just post it as it is. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Question, comments, concerns, thoughts, whatever. You're just going to have to go to the internet and figure it out. Uh, the places I've been going is to the... Um, uh, the wiki for actually for the due and everything is on here it's very confusing because the the numbers for the heaters aren't on these pens but it's zero through seven that's actually the pen numbers it took me a little bit to figure that out and again these guys are very helpful and responsive all the g-code stuff is being updated and um, this is a servo that I'm using so yeah I'm excited because uh, as of yesterday, the software wasn't configured correctly. But as of today, I was able to download the new firmware and get this thing working. All right. See ya.